locked it down in a cold gray drawer. Yeah, there ought to be a law making them stay out there and left for breakfast anyway. Don't worry, Barney. After the day, you'll be shooting that one-eyed monster of yours for Uncle Sam. Yeah, and you'll be seeing plenty of cold gray dawns then, brother. <laughs> you'll find out that the signal cord is a lot of other things besides false signals. After ten years in this racket, it'll be a vacation. <laughs> a simple soul, isn't he, boys? Yeah. Oh, woo! <laughs> You're a carter of the Globe Tribune, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Say, there's a woman on that boat with the name of Agatha Brewster. Yeah? What about her? Ghost hunter. She's a sister of that uh, missing Dr. Brewster. Good story. A great story. A pimp. Trying to sell you bootleg gas? Yeah, well, it's screwball, I guess. Yeah. That's her over there with the fur piece. I guess I'm awfully glad you're here. Come on, Bonnie. George, it's terrible. What happened? Mr. Brewster? Yes. I'm from the Globe Tribune. Miss Brewster's too upset over her brother to give an interview right now. Yes, the other time. Uh, oh, well, uh, may we have a picture? Go ahead, Barney. A pretty smile now. Smile? Oh, excuse me. Thanks. Now, about that interview, when may I see you? Oh, uh, some other day, the next week. Where? Miss Brewster will phone you. Oh, let her give you the brush off. It's a great story. Hey, what is this, anyway? If you'd only have listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. But what about the police? Haven't they been able to trace it? Fortunately, no. Fortunately? Yes, very fortunate. Agatha Jim isn't lost, except for this world. He's hidden away at Springdale in the old mansion. He'd be better off in the family cemetery plot. George. I'm sorry, but it's true. But what? Six months ago, we made an astounding discovery. It was so far in advance of anything that's been done to date that Jim decided to be the guinea pig for this experiment himself. I tried to talk him out of it, but you know how stubborn he is when he gets an idea in his head. He made the experiment, and unfortunately, it was a great success. So great in fact that we've been unable to counteract the results, and Jim... He's He's still alive, isn't he? Yes. And the story of his disappearance was a fake? Yes, I put that out to cover the whole affair up so that if the worst comes to the worst, it saves him a great deal of unpleasant notoriety. George, what does he mean? Prepare yourself for a great shock. I 
daughter here. Stop shaking, Nasta. I will touch you. Oh, you fool. Open the door. How are you coming with that ghost yarn? I couldn't get a thing out of her in the boat. Now I'm going through the morgue. Boy, is she a screwy dame. I don't want that junk. I want a personal interview. And get me some more pictures. Good ones. Barney Smell. I'm sending someone down to replace him. Name's Billy Mason. Okay, Chiefy. Now hop to it. And don't call me Chiefy. Okay, Chiefy. Going into the army has sure done something to Barney. Looks more like a ghost than a ghost hunter to me. Now, just what could have happened to get such a piece of tripe? Well, it's out of focus. It's underexposed and overdeveloped. And besides, there are two pictures on the same negative. Is that all? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir? Take Miss Mason down to Carter. She's taking Barney's place. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Martin, for giving me the break. I'm sure I... Ah, oh, forget it. But remember, I'll be satisfied with just one picture on each negative. I'll do the very best I can. Carter? Billy Mason. Okay, sit down and take the load off your feet. I'll be with you in a minute. Went by when I wasn't looking. I see you know your perfume. I know that one. In fact, I'll never forget it. Or the first girl I met that used it either. Nice? Yeah, but she liked it. So? She told me her boyfriend was in boot camp. Hey. Okay, Mason, let's go. Mason! I'm Billy Mason. Huh? I said I'm Billy Mason. I'm taking Barney's place, wherever he is. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, let's go. 
Dale, the old Brewster home. We'll interview a screwy old dame and get some pictures. Good pictures, I hope. Why the I hope? A good reporter generally gets an interview. Not worried about the interview. It's the pictures I'm worried about. Oh, I get it. Well, listen, Mr. Brisbane. You take care of your end of it and don't worry about mine. My pictures will be as good as your interview. And maybe a little bit better. Cocky little wench, aren't you? Well, I've had to hold my own against four brothers all my life. I guess I can handle a 4F like you. 4F? And what gives you the idea I'm in 4F? Well, I can't think of any other good reason you're not in uniform. Listen, baby, you're looking smack dab at a 14 carat 1A. No dependence, physically perfect, with a personal letter in his pocket from the president. 30 days from now, I'll be Jefferson B. Carter, Seaman Third Class. Oh. Oh, yes. 30 days past September, April, June, and Jefferson B. Carter. Well, I'll take back the part of it about 4F. But the rest of it still stands. It makes me wish I was in the Navy right now. That makes two of us. All right, sailors, shove off. that might cure him. And there's a great possibility it would. It's just a chance, you know. That fluid must be taken from a living person. And the taking of it means instant death. Well, I must say the housemaster's the old girl who would tease. What do you mean? She's a ghost hunter. 
Did you say ghost? Yeah. Ever see any? Huh, don't be silly. She has. <laughs> no kidding. She's written books about him. She's been all over the world, poking around in cemeteries and haunted houses. She just said back from a cook store of haunted castles in Europe. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Galloping ghost of Glen Raven. 
bother you, child? Oh, no. I just won't sleep all night, that's all. Suppose we get the fix before Miss Mason passes out, huh? Certainly. Now, listen, Miss Brucey, you stand right over here by the phonograph, and uh, you hold this record. Hold it like that. Beautiful. All right, honey. Come on, come on. Get yourself together. Thanks very much, Miss Brucey. Oh, just a moment. One more. Seat it, please. Oh, yes. Do you mind? Come over here and sit down. I'll take the galloping goat. Now, you sit there and try and give me a pose like you were hunting for a goat. That's it. Get it. That was very kind of you, Miss Brewster. Uh, I'll send you a couple of those pictures of it. You look great. Come on, honey. Let's go. I'll uh, send you a copy of the article. I might want to check with you later. May I come out again? Uh, I guess so. Please phone me, sir. Oh, certainly, certainly. Thank you very much. Well, uh, goodbye. Jane, are you mad to come up here? What are you trying to say? You will not be a party to a murder. Go if you let me go through life like this. Galloping goes himself, but it. <laughs> if I felt all right, that wouldn't get the last out of me. All right, let's go. You got any gas? What a lot of hooey. <laughs> the galloping goes, huh? I don't know who she thinks she's kidding. Meaning what? Does that record sound like the noise we heard when we drove up? Come to think of it, no. Going right. Yeah, there's something screw about the whole thing. I feel it in my bones. Maybe it's rheumatism. Yeah. No. All these years of cooperation. You need to die like this. You won't get away with it. Oh, please, James, stop me. Oh, leave me alone. Get up, get up, sir. Get out, or. Oh, how much, James? Me to do murder. Oh, call it what you like. Call it what you like. 
must grant that you live. It's my life against somebody else's. And I don't want to live the rest of my life this way. And I won't. Well, I'll... Yes? Someone from Street Headquarters to see you, sir. All right. Ask him to wait in the library. I'll be right there. Very good. You suppose anybody saw you come in here? No, I'm sure not. Stay right here. Don't take a chance on leaving. Oh, the captain sent me over to get some more soap on that Bruce's disappearance case. But I've already told him all I know. Well, there's a few things I'd like to check on. Very well. When was the last time you saw Miss Thursby? Is that right? I could drop in tomorrow sometime and... Oh, there's just a few more things. Uh, where do I get the sound? Well, I guess that's all. Thanks a lot, Doc. Not at all. Oh, if you think of anything else in connection with Dr. Booster, let us know. Looks like we sure can use a lot of help on this one. All right, I will. about the Brewster case. When did you discover this? Right after he left. You mean this happened while the cop was in the house? Evidently. Townsend admitted it. Yeah. Where's Townsend now? Right there. How about it, huh? Strangulation. And by someone with terrific strength. As he looked at the mouth and his throat. 
always thought, Brewster. It does look like him, doesn't it? Yeah. Here, those pictures. Okay. What's happened to him? Just lost his butler by his strangulation. <laughs> Top to trying to pin it on an ape. Can you tie that? Here. Well, I see you got something on the film anyway. Now, listen, old man River. Uh-oh. Trying to pull a Barney, huh? What do you mean? Two pictures for the price of one again. Look at that. Where? Right there. Well, I never saw that before. What is it? How did it get there? It's like a gorilla to me. A like gorilla? Yeah. Don't ever don't. Well, what heading does that come under? Six photography? Is it a game? No, I didn't do it. It's in the picture. It was there when I shot it. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Maybe this is the galloping ghost and Glen Raven or whatever his name was in the flesh. Remember those sounds? Yeah. Is that the way a gorilla sounds? Uh, not much of a tar there, but could be. So, the butler of the guy we saw there was murdered by an ape. I wonder. What are you going to do? Try to sell the boss a bill of goods. Do you want me to no, go Hold on, honey. You stay right there. Say, maybe you're my lucky number. <laughs> Doctor. 
that old pestilent and paper man again, Miss Brucey. I thought you said you phoned me before coming back. Uh, I, I did. But, but uh, your phone seemed to be always busy. Or uh, out of order, maybe. Have you tried your phone lately? It could be, you know. Oh, those things get out of order. Funny thing, I know a fellow that had a telephone that was always out of order. Well, uh, <clears throat> shall we uh, go in with the galloping ghost? Time to go to my house, Mr. Carter. Oh, I'm not here in that post business. No? No. My boss is saving that story for a sunny edition. But uh, he does want me to work on your brother's case. Has the police got anything definite to report? No, he's completely disappeared. I can understand it myself. But it's dreadful. Yeah, suppose work had anything to do with it? A uh, nervous breakdown or amnesia? Anything like that? I don't know. Uh, I was in Europe, as you know. I haven't seen him in over a year. But his work was difficult, wasn't it? Seems to me I heard something about his terrific experiment. Yes, he has a very scientific mind. Eh, yeah, just like my uncle. <laughs> his house was always full of giddy pigs and rats, even monkeys. Big ones, too. <laughs> Scared the daylights out of my head. So? Yeah, one day she just up and left them. And I don't blame her. Just imagine that door right now and coming face to face with a gorilla. Oh, but I suppose you're used to that sort of thing. I understand that your brother did a lot of work on gorillas and apes, didn't he? I would know. He never discussed those things with me. Well, I guess you can't be any help to me. I'll uh, just have to dig up what I can for myself. Thanks. Oh, by the way, uh, Miss Brewster, did your brother have a laboratory here in the house where he worked? Not that I know of. Okay, I thought maybe I'd find something there that might give me a lead. Well, thanks, and goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Carter. A very clever young man, that. Yes, I heard. Do you think the fluid will cure James completely? Permanently? I don't know. But it's useless for him to look to me for any more help. I warn you, I'll go to the police first. Oh. 
I were you. What? Well, don't ask questions. Come on. There have been three murders committed in this precinct, and not one single suspect brought in. Where did that put us? Right on the spot. They all look like they were committed by the same person, Captain. Outside of that, we haven't got a single thing to go on. Uh, thing, Captain. I suppose you expect the killer to come in and give himself up, huh? <laughs> now, listen. Get out and get that guy. Or I'll transfer you so far back in the sticks. The bears will be chasing up the trees. Come on, now, get out. Get out. Comfortable? Well, hello, stranger. Where have you been all week? I thought your draft board caught up with you. I've been parked in the bushes outside the Brewster home so long, I nearly took root. Waiting for the galloping ghosts to go by? No, I've got a hunch there's something truer than ghosts in that joint. Well, why didn't you let me in on it? Because if my hunch is correct, there's no place for a bait in the woods like you. Oh, by the way, if you need any more bobby pins, you'll find mine in the second drawer. <laughs> Thanks. Absolutely no. And don't call me again. The police have been here several times this week. They may trace the call. Well, what did you say? How soon will he be here? He's not coming. He won't do it. He won't do it, huh? All right. Here. Yeah. It doesn't matter. James, what are you going to do? If he won't come here, I'm going to him. But you mustn't. The police are watching him. I don't care. I'm going. Up on the hair, a new pair of lips, and you're as good as new. Where are you going? Back to my listening post. Roosters? Uh-huh. Can I go with you? Uh-uh. Well, why not? No place for little girls. There's too many snakes, frogs, and lizards. Big ones. Big as alligators. And besides, if I have to run, I don't want to wait for you. Oh, uh, don't wait up for me. We're no nearer to the killer than we were before. 
right, gentlemen. Let's go. No, I've got a hunch he's expecting somebody. Let's wait around and see. I could kill you before they got here, so be careful. It's here, George. Plenty of it. Look, it's enough for half a dozen injections. Who's going to what? 
Finnegan? Stay here. Vince, up in the back. Come on. He took her down in there. I can't open that thing. She knows how it works. Come on, make her open it up. Quick! Yeah. All right, open it up. you over my knee and paddle you good. Don't be a chump. Hey, what are you doing in my car? Who are you anyway? Me? Oh, I'm the author of the story. Screwy idea, wasn't it? 